my family too came from other shores. Uh, maybe it's because uh, I come from a city as diverse as Los Angeles. Uh, but when I was in China, uh, I heard again and again uh, from Chinese dignitaries uh, that they loved uh, the way uh, I greeted them with respect, uh, that, that I didn't come in uh, with the chauvinism that we sometimes see uh, among American dignitaries. I know there's more than one way to do something. I know that we're not the only one that has a monopoly on talent and creativity. And I recognize that if America uh, is going to prosper, and particularly if Los Angeles, the Venice of the 21st century, is going to prosper, we better be comfortable among the many people of the world and be comfortable in China. And when ma people made a lot of do and you clapped to the fact that I'm the first in 133 years, you know, I've always said, get over it. Uh, I won't be the last. There'll be many uh, more after me. But the important thing is, when you open up the door for one of us, uh, you open up the door for all of us. And I've said many times, today we're a city 46% foreign born, more than 50% Latino. In the next 20, 25 years, we may be 70, 75% Latino. But in 100 years, in 100 years, hear me now, in 100 years, we could be 50% Chinese. Yes, yes, and, and that's what LA is all about. We're a city that embraces. We're a city that recreates itself, recreates itself uh, and reimagines its future uh, every you know, few years. And, and that's why it is uh, important that this organization is creating that bond and those ties and, and that bridge. Uh, that's why your philosophy of you know, uh, peaceful coexistence and, and recognizing uh, the differences while ex accentuating the commonalities is so essential. So I wanted to be here to acknowledge you. And, and finally, uh, you're right, Stuart. Uh, the reason why we decided to move ahead, uh, and Yoli Flores Aguilar, one of uh, the individuals who I helped uh, to elect, uh, worked hard for her uh, election on the uh, school board was there's been a lot of talk and you hear it all the time particularly around immigration you know the the vitriol and the ignorance that you hear from some of the electeds and and others and they're always talking about English only and this and that and I I tell people hold it you know we all get English is the language of commerce and success and every one of our kids speak English you know, but when you first get here, you know, just just like the immigrants from Russia uh, and Poland and Italy, well, they don't have the language. You know, they try to learn it piecemeal, but mostly it's their kids uh, that learn the language and excel. And we've seen that uh, with people from Europe, but we've also seen that with people from Asia and Latin America as well. And what I've said to people, rather than talking about English only, of course, it should be English plus. You know, we're going to speak English and Spanish and Mandarin and all the languages of the world because L.A. is that Venice of the 21st century. And this organization is uh, that vanguard organization helping to, to lay that claim uh, uh, ring true, uh, helping to ensure that we are uh, engaging in the mutual understanding, which is so important for our future. So I wanted to come by to acknowledge all of you, and I'd like to, on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, acknowledge uh, the Committee of 100. Uh, we salute you. Uh, we salute your excellence. Uh, we salute uh, your perseverance in the face of adversity. Uh, we salute your extraordinary contributions to all aspects of American life uh, and to the, the human bridge so necessary uh, for the future uh, with China uh, and Asia. And so on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, uh, we want to acknowledge the work that you do. This is my first opportunity uh, to greet you. Uh, next time I know when you come, I, I might be able to greet you actually within the city limits. Uh, <laughs> be a nice thing. Uh, but today I greet you uh, with all friendship uh, and with the greatest uh, of respect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Take a picture here. We're going to take a picture real quick. Let's thank Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa. Wow, now you know why he's such a dynamic mayor and why we are such a, a, so appreciative of his partnership with us. Uh, let, I know he has to run back to City Hall and it's gonna take him another hour and a half. So uh, <laughs> good luck, Antonio, thank you again. He actually has a plan to make some one-way streets, but is running into a little public opposition. Um, now we're going to continue with our program. Uh, it, it's a, a great pleasure for me to introduce one of our fine members, Wing Chow. Uh, Wing is actually Executive Vice President of Master Planning of Architecture and Design at Walt Disney Imagineering. He is a Vice Chairman of Walt Disney Parks and uh, r resorts for the Asia Pacific region, and he will be introducing uh, Jay. So, uh, Wing, please welcome Wing Chow. Thank you, Stuart. It gives me great pleasure to introduce my boss, Jay Rizzullo, as the next, next speaker. I believe uh, Confucius uh, once said, it is wise and important to do a magical job when you introduce your boss. <laughs> or was it Mickey who said that? <laughs> well, first, if I may, I would like to uh, welcome Jay's lovely wife, uh, Barbara Rizzullo, to our function today. <laughs> Jay has the happiest job on earth. <laughs> As the chairman of Disney, Walt Disney's Parks and Resorts, he's masterminding Disney's long-term global growth strategy for a family vacation business that spans three continents. In addition to our world-famous resort destinations around the globe, Jay is responsible for the Disney Cruise Line, Disney Vacation Club, Adventures by Disney, Walt Disney Imagineering, and the ESP Zone sports-themed restaurants. Since joining the Walt Disney Company in 1986, Jay has served in a variety of positions with increasing responsibility, including Senior Vice President of Corporate Strategic Planning, Senior Vice President of Corporate Alliances, and Chairman and CEO of Euro Disney SCA in France, where he was instrumental turning Disneyland Resort Paris into Europe's top tourist destination. In addition to his duties at Disney, Jay has emerged as a recognized leader within the travel and tourism industry, working to broaden awareness of the industry's role, creating jobs, economic growth, and cultural exchange. As chairman of the U.S. Travel and Tourism Industry Advisory Board, he led the creation of the first ever comprehensive national tourism strategy titled Restoring America's Travel Brand. In January 2006, Jay assumed the chairmanship of the Travel Industry Association of America, where he was asked to serve an unprecedented second term. Jay also has given Disney's expertise in guest service, operations, and creativity to the U.S. government in order to improve the experience of foreign visitors. His most significant contribution was a multi-million dollar film entitled Welcome Portraits of America, 
which was presented to President Bush at the White House and now placed in the U.S. embassies, consulates, and airports. The Los Angeles Times has described Jay as a provocative and passionate leader who understands the cultural nuances of foreign markets. Well, the list of Jay's honors and accomplishments goes on and on, and it would take a long time to list them all. So ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the happiest man on earth, Jay Rizzullo.